Hello and welcome to Inmission News. You are watching English Bulletin with me, Ratnakar. The news in detail. Mayor Dayashin Kativari has welcomed the announcement of the Ministry of Urban Development of the Government Maharashtra to abolish property tax on houses up to 500 square feet. This decision, however, is applicable within the limits of Mumbai Municipal Corporation only. However, he said that he would have been happy if the decision had been implemented for Nagpur Municipal Corporation as well. Speaking in this regard, he said that this decision is an injustice for the people of Nagpur. They are also citizens of the state. They also have the right to take advantage of the law. Mumbai's economic situation is good, but the financial conditions of Nagpur and other municipal corporations of other cities is not good. The state government should abolish property tax on houses up to 500 square feet in all the municipal corporations of the state, including Nagpur Municipal Corporation. On the occasion of the 191st birth anniversary of Savitri Bhai Phule, the revolutionary teacher who made the light of knowledge the goal of life by rejecting the darkness of ignorance. Her contribution were remains and tributes were paid to her by the Nagpur Municipal Corporation. Corporator Harshal Savle, Corporator Pramod Chikle, Corporator Lata Kadugai, former Deputy Mayor Manisha Kothe, former Corporator Nita Thakre, former Corporator Manoj Sable offer floral breath and extended greetings on behalf of Nagpur Municipal Corporation. Subhash Gate, Rajesh Hatibair, Prayer Nakadam, Rekha Gautulwar and others were present on this occasion. Also in the Standing Committee Hall of Nagpur Municipal Corporation, Mayor Dayashan Kantiwari, Additional Commissioner Deepak Kumar Meena, Women and Child Welfare Committee Chairperson Divya Dhurde, Gandhi Bal Zone Chairperson Shraddha Patak, Deputy Commissioner Ravindra Pilave, Pandurang Shinde, Madan Subedar, Rajkumar Mesh, and others paid floral tribute on the portrait of Karthi Jyoti Savitri Bhai Phule. Under Swachh Survey 2022, Nagpur Municipal Corporation and Green Vigil Foundation jointly imparted awareness at Maharaj Park. At this time, the volunteer of Green Vigil Foundation threw light on waste segregation and appealed to the Swachhata Dutz to hand over the waste in a separate form. During this initiative, NMC employees and Green Vigil volunteers interacted with the citizens. Waste segregation is the need of the hour. Awareness was imparted on how to separate weight, dry and household hazardous waste at home besides other aspects. It was also appealed that the hotels and societies where more waste is generated should dispose of their weight waste through composing. Kausup Chatterjee, founder of the Green Vigil Foundation, emphasized the importance of waste segregation. He informed that if the citizens cooperate in waste segregation, it will be easier for Nagpur Municipal Corporation to take further action. The Nagpur District on Monday reported a whooping 133 fresh cases, the highest spike in the last six months and a zero death attributed to the novel coronavirus. In the last 24 hours, 13 persons recovered from the virus bond disease. Out of total cases, 105 cases alone were reported from Nagpur City, while 20 cases were cropped up in Nagpur Rural. Eight cases were reported from outside the district. With the latest update, the community positive cases reached to 4,94,226. The number of deaths stands still at 10,123. The sum of 4,83,677 people have been successfully recovered from the virus bond disease. The COVID recovery rate at Nagpur district has dropped to 97.85%. While active cases have crossed 500 mark and stand at 526. For the last several months, the number of corona positive cases and casualties were under control with the emergence of the Omicron variant has again resulted in an alarming rise in the number of cases. Ex-Cabinet Minister Dr. Anis Ahmed today submitted a deputation to Chief Minister Uddhav Thakare and supported the government decision regarding property tax exemption for properties up to 500 square feet in Mumbai. Dr. Anis Ahmed said such exemption should also be applied for Nagpur City, which is second capital of the state. In fact, Dr. Anis Ahmed said for Nagpur property tax exemption must be given for 1,000 square feet properties as Nagpur is not as much state as Mumbai and hence 1,000 square feet property tax exemption must be considered. Such a move would help large number of families affected by the pandemic as large number of citizens have lost their scope of livelihood and currently this property tax exemption is much needed, exclaimed Dr. Anisayman. Well, that's all from this bulletin. For more updates in and around the city, stay tuned with NBC News. Till then, Ratnaga says goodbye. Keep watching NBC News. Such the fact. Bien achupado.